Hi, I'm Debbie, and this is Book Ponder. Thank you for stopping by for another video. Today, I wanted to talk about how I rate books. So, this is coming about from a few different things. One of those is having seen a tag video going around from a few people I watched. It might be an older tag, but one of the questions in the tag is about how you rate books and what point system you use and, you know, how you rate things. Another thing is just seeing people talk about things like changing the rate, rating of a book based on the ending. Um, and then another thing is like, sometimes I hear people talk about how they, they feel about a book. And then when they give the rating, I'm surprised because based on their comments, I thought the rating would have been different. One of those books that really surprised me this year was Everyone Reading the Sense of an Ending by Julian Barnes. I personally hated that book. I think I've talked about that. If I could give it like negative stars, I would probably give that book negative stars because he irritated me so much by the end. And it was funny watching people, I think it was a buddy read or something, and this started people reading the book. One of the interesting things about that book was people reading it being pissed off about it or hating it or not liking something and then saying five stars. What? And so clearly different people use different criteria to rate books, right? Um, I mostly rate books based on my enjoyment of the book as I'm reading it. So when I tell you that a book had five stars, it means first and foremost, I loved every second of reading that book. And to me, that is the most important thing about a book. And I know we are just going to have to agree to disagree on that because I truly believe that if we don't enjoy the reading experience, what is the point? We learn better when we enjoy what we're doing. The power of play, um, you know, flow, that whole idea of being immersed in something and concentrating and just shutting out the rest of the world. All of that is really important when it comes to my enjoyment and learning and, and bonding with the characters and the story and being able to get something out of it. Storytelling, I mean, you can make the argument the storytelling itself is a form of entertainment and enjoyment designed long, 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 long ago to teach other people. So people who say, well, we learn from books, whether we enjoy them or not. Yes, it's possible. But really, I feel like I learn best when I am enjoying myself. And it's fine for us to disagree on how we rate books. And I think it's important to understand how the people who are in your sort of sphere rate their books. Because on Goodreads, I've noticed like the first thing I do when I'm I hook up with somebody on Goodreads is I compare my books to theirs and see what they rated books that I've read, because I want that as a as sort of a guidepost to say you like these books, I read these books. What did I think of them? How did you rate them? How did I rate them? Where are we? And it's interesting because there are certain things where like the more I find out about people, especially people here on BookTube. The more I find out about their certain preferences and things like that, um, the, the book tag I did where I called it book jam, other people are calling it buzzwords or book boxes or whatever, but where you have your like little things, I can go through some of the people who've done those videos and compare our books on Goodreads and, and see that where we agree is where we both have the same bookish buzzwords in common. And where we disagree is where we really disagree on the bookish buzzwords. So I thought that was really fascinating when I realized that. So really, I'm curious to see what you all think about how to rate books. Because I think there's a lot of merit in talking about the things that we value in books. And really, that's what a book rating is, right? It's how we value the things that we read. And, you know, I have for many years kept my own spreadsheet of the books that I read because I realized I was using a lot of different 
like it was before I really got into Goodreads. I was using different services, and I just found it was just way easier to keep a spreadsheet. I was running book clubs. Um, I wanted to do my own stats on some of the things, and so I just started tracking, and now that's like ritualistic for me. I go and I put the book into my spreadsheet when I finish, and now I add it to Goodreads. But, um, yeah, and so I have always used a five-point rating system. But I do it to the decimal point, and it, at one point I did it to the hundredths, but now I just do it to the tenths. So I do like 4.9, 4.8. Occasionally a book gets... 10 stars because I want to, or negative 10 because I wanted to, but um, for the most part, I tend to rate books pretty high, higher than average, and Goodreads even tells me I rate books pretty high, and it's mostly because I DNF so many books. Like, there has to be some sort of really good reason why I'm finishing a book that is less than three stars for me, and I, I usually know pretty early if a book is going to end up less than three stars for me, unless it's something like Sense of an Ending, where it just went whack-a-doodle toward the end. But anyway, so the other big thing that I've noticed in how people read books is people tend to give books higher ratings. I've seen it happen where people give books higher ratings if they feel like the book is intelligent or doing something avant-garde or, you know, like the things that get you certain prize nominations and winnings. Like, and maybe that's why I'm not a huge prize. There are certain prize that I like, book prizes that I like, but for the most part, I'm not a big follower. Same thing goes when it comes to prizes for anything, whether it be music or movies or whatever. I rarely tend to agree with the critics. Um, and the awards because I just don't. I know what I like and I am willing to branch out and try. Like I really do, I think, explore and give myself a chance to try all kinds of things. I like it or I don't like it. I don't see the point in forcing myself to like something just because somebody tells me that I need to because this is such an important to work and yada yada. It's like first and foremost, you need to tell a good story. Tell a story that matters to me. Tell me something that matters to my life. And not every book has to be important for my life. Like it's perfectly okay to write books that have nothing to do with me and have no value to me whatsoever. That is okay. But I don't have to like them. I don't have to read them. I don't have to give them good ratings just because somebody says that it's important. Or they have a bunch of degrees after their name. Or they've written a bunch of award-winning novels or whatever. And I think it's perfectly fine that if you go through my list of books, you have like thrillers and what's called chick lit or whatever, you know, popular titles that I've given five stars to right next to literary fiction of poetry or prize winners or classics or whatever that I did enjoy that meant something to me. And I really wish that more people would rate books based on how much they really enjoyed the book. Because I got to tell you, when a book stinks and you rate it four or five stars and I come along and try to read it because I value your opinion and I think that you have good taste in books and we share similar values and we probably are going to like similar stories a lot of the times. And then the book stinks. I go, why did you give it four stars? Why did you give it five stars? What are you thinking? But, at the end of the day, it's okay for you to do whatever you want to do. I mean, rate books how you want to rate books. I just think the whole system of rating is kind of funny. You know, we need a way to communicate to other people quickly, visually, what our opinions are of things. But, by now we all know the many myriad problems that ratings have, right? The system can be gamed. 
Um, ratings mean different things to different people. Yeah, but they are influential. I myself am quite influenced by ratings. Um, I won't even really read a book if I check Goodreads and see that it has less than like 3.9 stars. That's kind of my limit. I know. But anyway, hopefully this will be a fairly short video. Yeah, hopefully I will talk to you again soon. And thank you as always for stopping by. Bye-bye.